Raindrop IO tutorial, all in one bookmark manager. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with managing your bookmarks using Raindrop IO. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we're going to take a look at over here is why should you be using Raindrop IO? You already have your bookmarks tab. Well, this can be super hectic. I'll just show you guys my bookmarks tab and you guys can see it's super unorganized and it doesn't have a lot of categorizations. You can't really do much with your basic bookmarks tab. And if you're someone that is working all the time, then having categorization having some organization can be super helpful so to do this you can go on to raindrop.io and click on download on the top right now after that you can just click on the browser that you are using and then download it for that particular browser so you guys can see just by clicking the chrome icon the chrome web store has opened up and over here i can click on add to chrome now i can click on add extension over here to add this extension now, once I've done that, I can go on ahead and pin it over here. And once I do that, you guys can see this is my Raindrop IO account. Now, I can click on sign in over here and I can build my account or I can just click on sign up on the bottom. And then I can sign in with Google, Apple or use a username and email address to get started. So I'm going to continue with my Google account to make this easier for me. I'm just going to be using my email address with Google and now my registration has been completed. So that is all you have to do to get started with Raindrop IO. Now, once you've completed this, you can click on the Raindrop icon over here and you can get started with managing your bookmarks. Now you can click on settings on your account and you will be able to see your mini app or clipper. So the clipper is simpler and the mini app gives you the same experience as a website but in a compact size. Now after that you have saved page indicators, highlights, hotkeys and more. But first I'll show you guys the basic application settings as well. So in your application settings you have a default view, you have click on bookmark, open a new tab. Then you have your buttons, sort by relevance, tag sorted by as well. Now, after that, you have your account subscription integrations and more. Now, going back into our particular extension, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Raindrop IO directly on my, on my browser instead. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to choose my plan, which, which is the free plan. And I'll be discussing plans and pricing later on, but this is currently our Raindrop IO platform. And then you have all bookmarks and then unsorted bookmarks. Now to take my pre-existing bookmarks that I just added previously on my browser, I can click on import bookmarks over here and then you can import your bookmarks file. So you can click on upload file over here and upload that file. To get your actual bookmarks file, you can go into your bookmarks and then go into your bookmark manager over here and you will be able to see all of your bookmarks. Now from here, you also have your import bookmarks and settings. Now you guys can see these are all of your bookmarks. You can click on over here to import your bookmarks to choose file. And then you can choose a file that you previously had to add further bookmarks into your particular Google browser or any kind of browser that you're using. So just continuing on to add our bookmarks. Now, let's say that all of your bookmarks have been imported into your Google account. After that, you want to just go into your basic top left three dots, click on bookmarks and then click on bookmark manager. Now, this is your bookmark manager page. And once you're on your bookmark manager, on the top right, you have three dots over here, just on the corner of your screen. You're going to click on these and click on export bookmarks because we want to add them to Raindrop IO. So now once I click on this, I will just download or save my exported bookmarks. And now I can click on upload over here and upload the file that I just downloaded. So I'm just going to click on export bookmarks and then I'm going to download this like so on my desktop. And now I can go over here and upload my HTML file. And just like that, I am importing bookmarks onto my Raindrop account. You can do this in once only. Like you only have to do this once and then later on because now you have the extension. All of those bookmarks will be automatically added to your Raindrop account. Now you will see there are a few different options. Import all. 
only new folders and bookmarks or start from scratch. Now I'm going to click on import all and I'm going to click on start import. And now in a couple of seconds, our import will be completed. Now you're going to click on go to home. And now you guys can see all of my imports have been added. There are a lot of different imports that I've created, but you will be able to see all of your bookmarks. Now, after you have created your bookmarks, you want to get started with actually being able to organize these. So you have unsorted bookmarks over here. And you can click on add over here to add, you know, URLs to a particular categorization. You can also go into your bookmark collections where we have our bookmarks bar and imported bookmarks. So you can go on ahead and manually, you know, categorize them. You can select certain bookmarks. Let's say I have these bookmarks that are all related to studies and articles and research. So I'm going to simply create a section i'm going to click on add tags and the tag will be research over here add one tag and now whenever i am going to you know bookmark something else that is related to research i can just tag it research so it's easier to find and then i can also click on move and then i can create a new collection so this will be maybe for my thesis and then i can click on the plus icon over here and now all of these are going to be marked in my thesis section over here in my collections you can click on your collections and click on create collection and you can start building your collections and adding your your bookmarks manually into them so let's say i want to build another collection which might be movies and now i can go into movies and now just taking bookmarks from my bookmark bar i'm going to start adding these particular tabs these are all related to movie recommendations maybe and i can just add that so let's say i also have this one and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on move and move them to the movies collection and now i have a easier categorization for being able to see the content that i want because having over 100 bookmarks you're not going to be able to find the thing that you're looking for with ease and using raindrop io can be super helpful when you're doing that now let's say i go into google scholar over here i'm looking for a particular thing such as this so after i have maybe this particular item let's say i want to bookmark this so now instead of just going ahead and bookmarking it like this i can click on my raindrop extension i can even add a note and i can select my collection just like this so instead of having to you know browse through different things i just selected my collection then i can even add my tags and it will show me all of the available tags i have and then i can also add any highlights that i want so you can enable raindrop io to read uh, read your pages as well so after that you can add highlights and after that you can also go on ahead and add it as a favorite or add it with a notification or a reminder this is only available on the pro account of raindrop but after that you can just go on ahead and your and your particular item will be added and you can later on edit it as well you can edit the categorizations you can edit the tags but you guys can see it has now been added and i can click on remove on the bottom right to remove the bookmark now, if we take a look at the pricing of Raindrop IO, you guys can see that it offers you a variable menu or selection, even in the free plan. You have different types of nested views. You have by name, by number of bookmarks. You have different types of buttons and settings that can help you in categorization in your own personal preference. But if you want to take a look at some of the upgrades that Raindrop IO actually offers you. So if we go on to Raindrop IO, and if you compare their plans, you will be able to see that the pro yearly plan you guys can see is for. So if you take a look at their pro plans over here, they have the billing yearly and as well as billing monthly. The monthly plan costs you only around $3.59 and you can get started with that and you can choose to save 20% if you choose to go for yearly billing. And even for $3.50 a month, it's really low or such really nice features where you can also add reminders, permanent libraries, full text search, daily backups, duplicate broken files, as well as 10 gigabytes of file uploads per month. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to now get started with the Raindrop IO. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.